343 recently released a blog talking about the cheating problem that's happening in Halo Infinite and their course of how to fix the issue. Looking like a reporting option and also forcing people to play a certain amount of matches. And the Halo TV show had its first little teaser reveal and it had the most iconic line possible and it made me smile and I want to share it with you guys here. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Well, like we said at the top of this video, 343 just released this blog talking about the anti-cheat within Halo Infinite as it's been a bit of a hot topic issue as cheating has been a thing right now within Halo Infinite. Uh, though currently it's definitely been diminished a bit, at least from what I've seen since the mid-season update, but they kind of go into more details about it here. Saying that, you know, a lot of people have even said that there's no anti-cheat with Halo Infinite. That's just not the case. They even confirmed right here saying Halo Infinite shipped with its own proprietary anti-cheat system that we call Arbiter. That's probably why you don't see like a flash on screen like we did with MCC. But same with the uh, easy anti-cheat, which is a very common thing which they bring up later on in this blog, uh, which works pretty well. And uh, it seems like Arbiter is kind of finding its footing when it comes to making sure that they can actually properly attack cheaters and detect them and stop them from happening. Uh, they also talk about here, like it's kind of a double-edged sword here about talking about the anti-cheat system because the more information you give about the anti-cheat system, well, the more information those cheaters have to work with where they can actually, well, make it easier for them to cheat, which obviously we don't want to have happen. But this blog does address a very important question that they asked themselves here saying, if there is anti-cheat, why are there cheaters in the game right now? And essentially 343 kind of goes into a discussion about saying like, well, cheating is something that's pretty much always going to be in a game, uh, but this depends on how little that cheating is within the game itself. Because it's basically a never ending arms race when it comes to cheaters within a first person shooter. I mean, I've definitely come across this with other games as well. Uh, but for the most part, it seems like Cheating is definitely there, but it's definitely diminished over time. 343 even discusses adding in a report system within the game, it seems like, talking about streamlining it, but right now they do say that if you want to report somebody, the best way to do it is go to the Halo support site. You'll be able to report players there, and it's, you know, it's it's fine, but like you have to go out of the game. You kind of really have to go out of your way to report cheaters, and mainly when that happens, you basically have to stop playing completely get their name, find the game, and then also maybe record it, share it up on there. Like it's a process basically. And so it's a lot of effort on the player to report these cheaters. And they do mention here saying that we know we want to streamline the reporting process and make it even more intuitive by building the functional functionality completely in game. It's a feature we're working on, but it will take time as we build a and polish all the supporting systems needed in the pipeline to make it run smoothly and accurately, which again, it's something they're working on. We need more time on it. The basic mantra of Halo Infinite where it's, we're on it, we know it, it we're just kind of working on it at the moment. They do stay here that they are working on a current system right now when it comes to stopping cheaters, where it's gonna be implemented later, not right now, but later, Thing that uh, currently their plan is to make people who make brand new accounts that have to play at least 25 multiplayer games before they can queue up into ranked because ranked is where we're really seeing this cheating issue happen and mostly at the higher end of cheaters like onyx level and above i mean i'm a i'm a mid-tier diamond low tier onyx player personally i haven't come across any cheaters within the game um but i know that definitely at higher levels it certainly happened though i certainly after the mid-season update uh, they definitely did address the cheating issue quite a bit. And I've been seeing a lot less tweets and images being shared and a lot less uh, discussion about cheaters within Halo Infinite since that update, but it's certainly still there though. But they do even mention that Arbiter is not going to be the only potential reason for case for solving these cheater issues, saying right here that there are a few efforts underway here and nothing, including leveraging third party solutions in combination with our existing work on Arbiter is off the table. So they mentioned like, Maybe we could work with like Easy Anti-Cheat or Battle Eye or something like that to help out with this cheating issue going on throughout Halo Infinite. Um, but like I said right now, like it seems to be kind of good. Uh, but again, like it's never, it's gonna be a never ending arms race when it comes to this kind of stuff. So you're never gonna fully get rid of it. They also never mentioned anything about canceling crossplay, which I know a lot of console players have been talking about for Halo Infinite that they've been saying that they wanna be able to opt out of crossplay so they have no chance of cheaters whatsoever which is definitely the benefit of the console that it's a closed ecosystem and so you can get away with them doing that kind of stuff but of course 
I don't agree with that because I feel like it really hurts the population and health of the game when you create this hard division between people being able to play. And like I said, for the most part, at least for your average player, it's not going to really come across any cheaters. You really come across this in the high tier ranked gameplay, which obviously you want to maintain the integrity of that gameplay itself. Uh, but I think there's possibilities where 343 could improve their anti-cheat to where they basically squash it out for the most part. Like, it's never going to be 100% gone, but you can make it like 90, 95% gone. I think it'd be fine right there. Uh, but they do mention here that, you know, a lot of people have acted like, asked like, oh, why don't you use like third-party software that is known to work and stuff like that. And he said that uh, most anti-cheats don't have a focus on prevention and protection, and therefore we need to build Arbiter anyway. So they kind of say like, well, for what we want to accomplish with this anti-cheat, we kind of had to build our own. Uh, recently, there's been a big thing about going into the kernel level of uh, anti-cheat, which is basically, it goes into your system and recognizes your hardware and software and stuff like that. Very detailed level, which is very intrusive, honestly, where if they could, like it gives like you know, the developers and the publishers a lot of information on your PC, which is kind of concerning. You know, obviously you want to try to keep your information as much as possible. Uh, they do say that at the moment, they don't have any plans to deliver kernel level drivers when it comes to uh, the anti-cheat system, which going kernel level basically does squash out cheating completely, but it's also very intrusive. They even mentioned here saying that uh, stability becomes a serious concern because if you have a bug, you don't just crash the game client, you bug check blue screen the entire machine. So there is like gifts and takes right here. And also they mentioned about how going kernel level does create a lot more complexity. It makes it a lot more difficult to do any kind of development when it comes to the anti-cheat. So I think it's kind of one of those things like if they feel like they absolutely need to, they probably would go that route. But right now, I guess right that the issue is there, but squashed enough to really not affecting enough people to where it need to go that deep. Not like Call of Duty where basically, even I was coming across cheaters in Call of Duty Warzone and I suck at that game. Like for the skill-based matchmaking, I shouldn't be matching against cheaters, but yeah, hey, it was happening even then. So it looks like some improvements will be coming to recap. We will be forcing new accounts to play at least 25 multiplayer games before they can queue into ranked, which that's where the, mainly the issue of cheating is occurring. So that's a good move on their part. They did say that the number might change depending on when they actually release it, but they're kind of like probably about 25 games or something like that. You know, you want to put in a considerable amount of time because obviously cheaters are just going to, well, you know, want to cheat and they don't want to put any effort into cheating because that's the idea is not putting any effort into your gameplay to troll other people. But if you got to make them try, well, then maybe it might force the issue into social play. Anyway, again, we kind of have to see how it plays out when it comes to that. It just depends on the, the intention of the cheater when it comes to that kind of stuff. And I really hope they put in that in-game reporting system. It depends how intuitive and how streamlined it is. But let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys experienced any cheaters or is that much of an issue that you've come across? You know, let me know. Because I, I, me personally, I haven't really come across any cheating. And uh, for, for the most part, from what I've seen online after the mid-season update, it's been kind of squashed a bit. Obviously, with the population dropping down, a bit the less amount of cheaters you'll see and stuff like that so you know it's a double-edged sword when it comes to that stuff in more uplifting news though we had a bit of talk about the halo tv show went on the cbs morning with pablo schreiber you know the guy who plays master chief within the halo tv show and they go in to kind of describe their experiences and what the idea of the show is and stuff like that and there's just one line I absolutely felt compelled to share with you guys. And if you're a long time Halo fan, especially of Combat Evolved, you'll know why. I love how it goes in the first person here as well. So Assessment cool. Assessment report. Cave Network does not appear to be a natural formation. <laughs> I love it. The Cave Network does not seem to be a natural formation. I love how that line made it into the game. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about that famous line from a Cortana on the mission. Halo from Combat Evolved when you first go into the cave and Cortana goes, This cave is not a natural formation. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, big surprise there, Cortana. Very observant right there. And I just love how, like, that line essentially made it into the TV show. Like, Anybody who's a longtime Halo fan is gonna be laughing so much about this. And I am super excited about the Halo TV show. I've had a bunch of friends and even family members who I know are not interested in Halo contact me and go like, hey, are you excited about that Halo show? Like there's a lot of interest and hype about this. So I'm really excited about it. I will be covering each episode on the channel. He'll be doing separate reviews, talking about 
uh, my experience as like a longtime Halo fan who's been playing since 2001, how accurately does the Halo show capture the feel of Halo? As you guys do know that it's its own separate timeline, and uh, we will be seeing Master Chief's face apparently within the first episode, well, uh, after the, about the first like 50 minutes into the show, we'll actually see his face. But in the discussion on CBS Morning, they talk about that experience and saying like how it was much more of a emotional felt kind of scene, rather than just being like, hey guys, what's up? I'm Master Chief, taking my helmet off. Like who cares about the lore and the legacy of Halo, right? But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything Halo Infinite related or Halo TV show related, make sure you subscribe to the channel here, guys. And if you're new to the channel, and missing content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. Got a link to all my Halo news and information. Informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.